How's it going? This is Nick. And I am eating some Church's Texas chicken tonight. Since 1952, they've been making this bold Texas flavor. We aim to please, let us know. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so it's a little chilly tonight. So I decided to get some other tenders. Chicken tenders there. I've got some of their bombers. Jalapeno bombers. Boom. Some of their new purple pepper sauce. Got two of those. And a whole cup of jalapenos to go with it. Now, it's cold. It's cold here in Converse, Texas right now. And what one thing Texans know how to do is warm up with some spicy food when it gets cold. So that's the, that's the goal of tonight. All right, I haven't had their purple... Uh, I haven't had their purple sauce yet, purple pepper sauce. Haven't had that, so that's gonna be for my first time trying that. Kind of excited about that. So, oh, can't get this camera right. All right. So here we are. All right, so we got our tenders, got a honey butter biscuit. Turkish biscuits are one of the better ones, compared to Lita Popeyes. And then we got the jalapeno popper, got some jalapenos here, and their purple pepper sauce. We got two of those. So we're going to try this out. We're going to start off with the bombers. Their bombers are great. Got jalapenos in there, cheese, fried to perfection. Mm. Nice, hot, delicious. Mm. Bad at this zooming thing. Mm. That's a win. That usually is a side, you get these um, three or four pieces, maybe. Tonight looks like you got a little extra. It's hard to find a good bomber. You know, where I'm at. Trisha's kind of has the stranglehold on it. Texas Roadhouse has a thing called rattlesnake bites. They have jalapenos and almost kind of like a uh, hush puppy form. I'll make a video on that soon. Moving on to the tender here. I'm going to be trying the purple pepper sauce. This is a new sauce they have here. And if I'm going to read out some of the ingredients, you got red bell peppers, spice, duh. Um, they said there's habaneros in here on the website. So, it's saying that's like a cider vinegar. So, we're going to see how, how this looks. Smells, smells, oh shit. It smells pretty spicy. That was going to be a lot more jello -y. Clean that up later. Alright, let's give this a shot. 
the purple pepper sauce from Church's. Not too spicy. Mm. They're doting on um, habanero chilies being in this. It's not part of the ingredients, so that's uh. I don't like when when companies say, "Oh, this is made of habaneros," but habaneros aren't in the actual ingredient list. That means they're very very small. So this is the reason why we picked up the jalapenos. This will help out, right? So. I'm just trying to keep cool in here. Oh. They have fresh pickled jalapenos. Fresh pickled. I don't know if that's a thing. Mmm. I guess one thing I want to talk about is people say, oh, remove the seeds, remove the seeds. The seeds aren't what cause uh, helping it be spicy. It's the capsation that surround the seeds and the ribs, the little ribs in there in the middle. That's what makes it spicy. sauce is going great with the jalapenos. Second jalapeno here. And their tenders are pretty good. They come in original or spicy. I tried to get spicy tonight and they said they were unavailable. Kind of went a little bit later. Gives a nice kick. The genders are pretty standard. Not too big, not too small. Do one for another jalapeno here. Hmm. Definitely warm it up in this house. The pepper sauce is pretty manageable. I won't say it's very spicy. Definitely, um, it's elevated with the jalapeno with it. It is very flavorful. It almost has like a kind of a sweetness to it. If I may even compare, it's almost kind of a little bit like the mumbo sauce from the McDonald's.
Mm -hmm. Taste is definitely there. Spice is um, manageable. <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> Would I get this again? Huh. It was a little expensive. Churches' prices have been going up. Throughout the years, they used to become more value chicken. I think this was uh, eleven ninety nine with the four added jalapenos. It's supposed to be five. They'll give you four. Um. Added helping you know, two twenty nine, about thirteen fourteen bucks, um, for all this. Um, there is a sweet tea over here, but I like my beer. I'll try to wrap this up. If you've ever had churches, you know that it has that nostalgic kind of flavor to it. I remember many of Sundays getting off of a church or what have you, soccer practice and eat, going to churches and eating. I really wish they had the spicy available tonight. So I could have gone all out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The grib season coming up. I've already probably talked about it in one of my other videos. I'm really excited about it. Confirmed in my area for the 16th. Gonna be making videos for those as soon as I can. It's hard to go wrong with pure white. <clears throat> pure white meat chicken. Fried to perfection. Mm. With the jalapeno. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Last but not least, their biscuit. It's not blood. Halloween's over. Get your mind out of the gutter. That's some of that pepper sauce. But their biscuits are really, really bomb. Glistening honey. Mm. Nice, fluffy. Church's biscuits are awesome. Definitely top dog in the biscuit game. Beats out Popeyes. Beats out KFC. Mm. Interesting. Okay, lessons. Mm. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. That's a winner. Speaking of winners, churches, you did a good job. You tried. Purple Pepper is not as spicy as I wish it was. Um, especially if you're saying that there's habaneros in it on your website. The jalapenos that I had were definitely um, enough to elevate the meal uh, without this. So, give it a shot. Go to your local churches if you got one. And make sure you pick up some extra jalapenos along the way.